I go to Millard now, just so you guys know. Just kidding. All right, so rather than memorize this poem, I was on Craigslist looking for free puppies. So I have this piece of paper. So, and my name is Andy, and this is a costume violation. So we know that now. You used to take my breath away. You still do, only now, it's because you're smothering me. I was a clingy child, specifically clinging to my mother. She told me she would wake up early and try to sneak to the shower, and when she'd get out, she'd find me asleep in front of the door, wrapped in my blanket. <laughs> she couldn't go anywhere without me. I wouldn't let her. When my siblings got to go on my grandparents' boat or to the theme park or a scary movie, I got to stay home with my mom. <laughs> She would sew me dresses or sing me songs like when she'd hold me in her arms and sing that one song from Barney, I love you, you love me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was her silly bear, all sweetness and fluff, all girl and all little. I realized I was a little gay after watching Dodgeball. I remember that last scene where Kate kisses that one chick and then she kisses Vince Vaughn and says she's bisexual. I turned to my mother and said, I was too. I remember that look on her face when I realized that was not an okay thing to say. When I bring home girlfriends, she likes to remind me of how much I liked boys when I was younger, of all the times she caught me kissing them in the laundry room. What's funny is that her mind has erased the memories of me trying to be one, of me grooming my fur to stand up and be anything other than black button eyes and a smile stitched so tightly I would never spill my stuffing too colorful for her to bear. Does she forget me convincing the girls in my class to kiss me underneath the slide or telling her I wanted to marry them? She said, I just really love them as friends, that I admired them even. But she was afraid of me making friends with the monsters in my closet. Munchausen by proxy syndrome, a relatively rare form of child abuse that involves the exaggeration or fabrication of illnesses or symptoms by a primary caretaker. I know now why you were always convincing me I was sick. I, you were only afraid of, me losing me, of losing me, so instead you had me lose myself. By the time I began standing up for myself, I realized you could only ever love me in a weakened state. A watered-down version of who I am is the only one you know how to handle. It's no wonder that when you drag the S to the end of the word smother, it spells mothers. It's no wonder your hugs always felt like a chokehold. And still, the world tells me not to give up on you because you are my mother, because you gave me life, but they don't seem to understand how often I wish you hadn't. Your first marriage was a juggling act of dodging fists and lies. You taught me to never allow someone to love me like that. So why, when it is my own blood, I am expected to take it because you are my mother, because you gave me a life. Why should I allow you to make me wish I had it, mommy? You begged my father to have me. My existence was planned so thoroughly he could not say no from my laugh to my death. You had planned out every possible outcome of who I could be, and now you don't even have the audacity to love me. This is the last poem I will ever write for you. This is the last breakup we will ever have. I spent so much time being your shadow, I can't find myself. You said that I used to cover my head with a blanket and follow you from place to place like a tiny ghost. So how is it that you are the one still haunting me? I'm not your silly bear anymore. You made sure to drag the humor out of my fur. I am gnarled and angry. I am a grizzly bear with more scars than hair. I am not Ariana and I never will be again. The carcass of a daughter you left behind has been rotting for too long and I can no longer stand the, the smell. My name is Andrew. My name is Andrew and I am learning to love the person Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm learning to love the person I was before I loved you. I'm taking back the boy shirts and secret girlfriends. I will never hide from myself again. I will never pretend to be anyone other than myself in order for you to stand me. I will never be broken bones and spider webs again. I am here. This is my body. This is my life and you are not welcome here anymore because before I even knew I was different, I knew that I loved you, mama. You were the first person to ever break my heart. 